just imagine we were going to adopt a dog, okay? What time of day, what hour of the day do you think would be the best hour of the day to adopt a dog? Let's start with you, David. Look at Finn. What time do you think he ate his breakfast this morning? Stuart, I'm going to get you to choose the name of the dog. Simon, can you think of a dog's name for us, please? Inside this little box is a dog's collar. It's got a name on it. Finn had a word engraved on the tag on his collar. This is the medal he won. Oh. On the back, it says, awarded to Teddy as Pickle the Dragon. <laughs> And I go to animal rescue shelters taking photographs of dogs. So when Britain's Got Talent got in touch with me, I thought there might be something here. I could combine my photography uh, and homeless dogs and rescue dogs with a mind reading act, combine the two. So in 2017, you can see here, you can see that uh, he's working for Psycho on Britain's Got Talent. Uh, love the rescue dog idea. I know that Simon loves dogs. Could you work out a rough audition act? I, I outlined a quick description of the act. I make a real dog appear from a photograph. Simon comes up on stage to look at the collar and discovers that the engraving in the collar is the exact same name he was thinking of. Uh, that was back in September 2017. Uh, the, the, uh, the producers from Britain's Got Talent, they got in touch with me asking me to go on. So I said that I, wasn't, I didn't want to do it that year, uh, but hopefully we could do it the year after. So here we are now in 2018 now, and the team love the animal, love the animal idea. There you can see the middle of May, I did the first act on stage. In the past, inside this little box is a dog's collar. So I've, I've gone through the whole summer now. We've been speaking about various things. Uh, he did mention another police dog at this moment as we're having conversations about videos. I, I haven't got the exact date because that was in a phone call. It was on the on a Skype call, I think. And the 11th of July, I had a meeting with the head executive of Britain's Got Talent and he mentioned you. They totally loved the idea. It's unusual for them to bring someone up like that. It was the actual boss. Um, and then here in August, where I'm talking about now, the dog has a winner's medal. And, and the name uh, that Simon wrote down at the start is now engraved onto the winner's medal. Is the medal he won. Now, I asked you to think of the name of a pet. He asked for a video. I did have a video that I've been doing just for my own use to, to build this. I get you to choose the name of the dog. So if you're going to go for a man, you might go for Bruno or Tyson. If it's a girl dog, you might go for Holly or Lily. If you don't know if it's a boy or a girl, you might go for David Williams. Or something like that, okay? <laughs> Together, as a team, we're going to adopt a dog. Uh, but first of all, we need to know if it's the right time to adopt a dog. So I'm going to ask you, your name is? Sally. Sally, Sally if, just imagine we were going to adopt a dog, okay? What time of day, what hour of the day do you think would be the best hour of the day to adopt a dog? Morning. Morning, which hour of the morning? Ten. Ten, so ten in the morning would be the best time. Any reason for ten? No. Uh, okay, how many minutes past ten in the morning do you think would be the best time to adopt a dog? Three minutes. Three minutes past ten. It's quite specific. Now, it's sad that there's been a clock sitting there the whole time, since before you even started to think about thinking of a time. You thought of three minutes past ten, Sally, the clock is set to precisely three minutes past ten. The dog act, they are 100% behind. So 22nd of August, they are 100% behind the dog act. 4th of October. So this is the first time, this is the first time that I've got documented evidence uh, of this other dog act, but it goes way months before this. But this is the first time I've actually got it documented on the 4th of October. Um, are they still talking about doing the other dog magic act you mentioned? It's just got me worried that we've gone from the executive producer asking about me uh, to they've asked me to help with another magic dog act. And now we're on, let's wait and see what they say. So it's definitely gone back since the mention of this other dog act. 9th of October, so five days later, they didn't like the routine. If they didn't like them, that's fine. And again here I ask, have they got another 
magic dog act. I referenced the conversation that we, I had. I know you said after I pitched the idea last year when they loved it, that one of the producers had gone off and come back with a similar idea and asked you to find some magic for it. Says they simply didn't like it. There's nothing more I can do. There also isn't another magic dog act, to my knowledge, on Britain's Got Talent. We'd already spoken many times about another dog act. So, okay, fair enough, they said they didn't like it. So I work on another act for them, uh, talking about a golden bone. A golden buzzer can change the life of a dog, uh, can change the life of a Britain's Got Talent act. Perhaps a golden bone can change a dog's life. And here you can clearly see six rescue dogs are brought on stage. Six rescue dogs brought on stage. Uh, each has a handler wearing a shirt with a number on it. The dog piece is way clearer. All the dogs will create a great moment. So let me pass that on to them. A week later, just had a meeting. They much prefer this version. Six rescue dogs, six trainee police dog puppies. 28th of November, waiting to hear back. Uh, it's, you know, there's, there's nothing. And then the 22nd of February, puts a post up about, um, about this police dog being on Britain's Got Talent. He said that he didn't know anything about it until just before the audition. And I, you can see, I said, we spoke about it months before. Uh, it, it was certain it was happening. I knew it was a police dog. I knew it was going to be doing mag magic, you, mental magic. You'd already told me as much. Says, Matt, I'm not arguing with you. They decided to go with something else, and it's as simple as that. They went with someone else. They decided to go with someone else. It's as simple as that. But they didn't want to go with something else. Just imagine we were going to adopt a dog, okay? What time of day, what hour of the day do you think would be the best hour of the day to adopt a dog? Start with you, David. Look at Finn. What time do you think he ate his breakfast this morning? Stuart, I'm going to get you to choose the name of the dog. Simon, can you think of a dog's name for us, please? Inside this little box is a dog's collar. It's got a name on it. Finn had a word engraved on the tag on his collar. This is the medal he won. Oh. On the back, it says, awarded to Teddy as Pickle the Dragon. <laughs> Just find the number of your local shelter, give them a call, and let's try and give them an image they'll remember forever. It's never been so easy. With the cameras, even your camera phone, now is the perfect time to help out. Okay, I'll make the breakfast. Get Finn. Good lad. Good boy. 